James Corden can be very arrogant, as he's been rude to guests, celebrities and fans while hosting and presenting, which is supposed to stay professional. Drop the Mic segment on The Late Late Show is kind of a celebrity rap battle, where James invites a guest who faces him one-on-one -on -one in a game that should be considered fun. Interestingly, this segment isn't always fun as it gets personal, and some hurtful truths are said out of annoyance, which happened when James invited Kevin Hart to the show. While playing the game, James shamed Kevin for his height, and Kevin, who was angry, counterattacked and mentioned that many people find James rude, and that they laugh at him behind his back while pretending to be nice to his face. Kevin went personal with that revelation, considering how many celebrities have had issues with James. It's surprising how James managed to piss off Kevin by height-shaming him because he didn't like it when Bill Maher made a fat-shaming comment. While speaking on his real-time show, Bill was blunt about his opinion on fat-shaming. According to Bill, people should stop being sensitive when being fat-shamed, but should take it seriously as it could help people lose weight. James wasn't happy with this, and mentioned that he knows what it means to be overweight, and the misconceptions about how they are too lazy to do something about it. And as someone with a platform that can enlighten people on a topic, James was disappointed in Bill, and reminded him that fat-shaming is evil. However, Bill kept his word, and replied that it's unfair for someone to eat just as much and expect the rest of the world to deal with it and shut up about it. Then he said people weren't angry at his comments until James turned it into a joke on his show. First of all, he missed a great opportunity to literally save lives. If he had taken the opposite approach, he took the, the easy way out. In another segment of The Late Late Show, Carpool Karaoke, James found a way to piss off Britney Spears by inviting her to partake in the music segment. While speaking about her experience with James, Britney thinks it was strange as James appeared friendly but manipulative, which didn't sit well with her. During their time together, Britney didn't want James to play her song Hit Me Baby One More Time, but James ignored her concerns and went on to play it many times. Britney found James annoying because he also wanted to extra piss her off by wearing costumes similar to what Britney wore in the music video. The singer Mel B has had many experiences and meetings with other stars, but to her, James takes the award for most terrible and unpleasant person in Hollywood. Mel said that James always acts like he's bigger than everyone else. She even advised him to always be nice to people that he works with, especially as they're all trying to do the same thing. And a little excellent courtesy would go a long way. Mel B was spot on when she mentioned that James Corden is ungracious towards the people that he works with. TV director Craig Duncan has confirmed with his experience of working with a TV host and presenter. The most difficult and obnoxious presenter I've ever worked with is James Corden. Craig added that after being asked to direct a challenge with James, he was also asked if he could work well with difficult presenters, which Craig thought wouldn't be an issue. But he got a much bigger shock. Craig's first experience with James's arrogance started right at the rehearsal. The director said that James was given a card containing a joke to read, and he kept saying it wasn't funny and asked that it could be rewritten. Seeing this was a red card for Craig, but he made the mistake of thinking that James was just stressed or not having the best day, so he agreed to continue filming. Craig and his team tried setting up their cameras and other equipment quickly because they would only be filming for five minutes. But while they were at it, Craig mentioned how James verbally attacked him and his crew members on how to set up the cameras. It's so obvious how you shoot it. It's stupid. And I'm like, he's, ab he's absolutely right. He's absolutely right, guys. Let's just do that. That's the best thing to do. And they're all looking at me like that. Even though Craig was calm, listened to James's concerns, and got his crew to do what was needed to be done, James stood them all up and didn't get back till 45 minutes later for a five-minute shoot. In 2010, during the Glamour Woman of the Year Awards, James Corden and Sir Patrick Stewart went hard on each other right in front of the audience. James was the event host, and Sir Patrick called James out because of the rude behaviour. According to Sir Patrick, James looked disinterested in the whole show whenever a presenter gave an award to a recipient. Sir Patrick said it even made James look like he would rather be elsewhere than at the event. But James was angry that Sir Patrick called him out for that, and he approached him to say some disrespectful words. But when you come up and present an award, just get on with it. There we go. <laughs> James also added a fake apology to Sir Patrick while telling him he was wrong for what he had just said about him. But that was just the beginning of the night, as Sir Patrick continued mentioning another bad habit he noticed in James while sitting with the rest of the audience at the awards. Sir Patrick said he could see James's belly from far up where he sat, and wondered why he couldn't tuck his shirt in as the guests at the front would have been uncomfortable having James's belly in their faces. And also, James didn't like that comment, as he made a dangerous and offensive comment on Sir Patrick right there as a counter-attack. Sorry, I'm waiting for the punchline. Go on. No, seriously, go on. Okay. No, um, go on. You can see my belly, and we can all see you dying right now. Let's go for it. Here we go.
After the awkward exchange, James took his chance by flushing his belly to every other guest in attendance who might have missed seeing it earlier. It's just there. And after that, while referring to Sir Patrick, James added that they should get a taxi ready for the older man as it was time for him to go to his house. Speaking of presenters, Ellen DeGeneres got mixed up in a controversy of how she appears to be excellent on stage but rude to her staff behind the scenes. But actor Eric Andre thinks that's a joke compared to James Corden's rudeness. According to Eric, if Ellen could be called out for not being nice, then James has no hope, as he is the most significant representation of how not to be nice. The funny thing is about all of these is that James Corden knows that he's rude, and he even admitted it, but blamed it on having fame without experience. James said that he only acted like a spoiled nuisance earlier on in his career, which many people wouldn't agree with. James excused himself for being rude, saying, It's so intoxicating, that first flush of fame, and I think it's even more intoxicating if you're not bred for it. But even after having many flushes of fame, James still is considered a vulgar person, and many of his friends and other celebrities in Hollywood don't have the very best experiences with him. Apart from being rude, James has also been accused of stealing the work of the comedian Ricky Gervais. In an opening monologue for The Late Late Show, James made a joke that has to do with Elon Musk taking over Twitter, which happened just recently. And it's identical to a joke from a stand-up special that Ricky did in 2018. Because if someone puts up a poster in a town square that says, guitar lessons available, that's like going into a town square, seeing a big notice board, and there's a notice guitar lesson. This word-to-word -word copying of Ricky's jokes got many people angry at James, and Ricky also reacted in some deleted tweets by mocking James's monologue and calling it brilliant. Ricky also added an excuse on behalf of James, saying, I reckon one of the writers came up with it for him. I doubt he would knowingly copy a famous stand-up routine word for word like that. However, after the backlash, James Corden took to Twitter to apologize as usual. James said he mistakenly copied Ricky's jokes, and to cover for his mistake, James asked his fans to check out Ricky's brilliant specials on Netflix. Aside from being rude to guests, James extends the bad habit outside of his workspace. James was called out and given a ban by Keith McNally, the owner of the Balthazar restaurant, because James pissed him off with how he was rude at the restaurant. Keith said, James Corden is a hugely gifted comedian but a tiny cretin of a man, and the most annoying customer to my Balthazar servers since the restaurant opened 25 years ago. And the exciting thing is that James got the message of his ban and apologized for being rude. So Keith, who thought that James was sorry, lifted the restrictions so James could keep dining at Balthazar whenever he wanted. But then, when the New York Times tried to interview James on the incident and the whole drama around the ban, the TV host mentioned that he wasn't sorry for anything and that the issue was too low to consider seriously. He said it's ridiculous for the New York Times too, as it's beneath what they could publish. However, he later admitted being rude, saying, but the truth is, I made a rude comment and it was wrong. It was an unnecessary comment. It was ungracious to the server. James may have apologized yet again for his unruly behavior, but the wife of one of the Try Guys, Becky Habersberger, said that it's a habit for James to be rude to servers. According to Becky, she witnessed James being rude to a busser and record all of this on a TikTok video. I overhear the busboy telling James Corden that Little Doms is closed right now. It's closed right now. And he's telling James Corden that he can get him a reservation, you know, right when they open. Um, he was trying to be really accommodating. And James Corden yells at this bus boy. A lot of good that does me, mate. A lot of good that does me. Then Becky added that the behavior is who James is as a person, and not an excuse for having a bad day. What do you think of the continuous rude habits of James Corden, and how he has belittled so many people as a celebrity? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching.